All right, I'm going to take apart this 5S because I am going to go on hunt to see if we can probe around a little bit and figure out what TriStar, uh, what the secrets of TriStar are. Um, one of the things that I notice a lot with questions and comments on YouTube is that people still call the TriStar chip the U2 chip, and that comes from way back, way back when the iPhone 5 was the first device that really started to have TriStar problems and the TriStar chip was in the U2 position um, in the iPhone 5. Uh, so in each subsequent Lightning device there's still a TriStar chip but it's not always in the U2 position. So if you are still calling the TriStar chip the U2 chip then you should probably uh, start calling it TriStar. Every schematic refers to the TriStar chip as TriStar and it might be U1700 uh, or you know whatever other numbers it is in each device and there's going to be a different chip in the U2 position. Same thing for Chestnut which is in the U3 position in the iPhone uh, 5S and 5C but in the iPhone 5 the U3 position is the commonly uh, knocked off during battery pry damage uh, chip that controls the home and power button uh, power lines. So I think that we'd all understand each other a lot better if we just dropped the U2 nomenclature. So what I'm going to do right now is take apart this 5S that appears to be a straight up TriStar phone. So first, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna burn through a couple of chips here. First, we're gonna fix it and see if it actually pulls normal charging current, and then we're going to play around and see if we can figure out um, what some of these lines are doing by doing some experiments. So that should be fun. Jessa will most likely start another one now. Is there a stream coming up? Yes. What do you mean start another one? Live stream offline. What are you talking about? What you talking about? Let's see. Let's see if I can see comments over here. Oh, this is fun. I'm doing to Lewis what he he does to me, which is abandon a, in the middle of a conversation and just start a stream. I wonder how long it will take him to notice. Uh, let's see. What's up, YouTube? Let's look. All right, that looks live. So is Jessa sleep streaming? No Twitch stream? Uh, don't know about that. I hit stream. Uh, Twitch, I don't know if it, if uh, what's up with uh, the restreamer platform not streaming to Twitch. No clue on that. Not going to stop to fix it. I am going to take this board out. All right. I'm up late trading Bitcoin. Why are you up so late? I am up late because course week is finally over, which means Mark went home. He went back to sunny 113 degree Florida today. I think he just got home. Uh, a little bit ago and that means I can go back to normal life and for me that means being able to go to the gym during the day when it's open so I'm coming in to work at night and it is, it is pretty funny though I like everyone else I have ordered a shit ton of these stupid ass fidget spinners so I was making some Vistaprint signs to go in the window describing these spinners and so you know if you ever go to Vistaprint they're they're just so spammy and they're they're full of uh, don't you want to also buy this mouse pad with your logo on it and don't you want to buy this little tiny sign and a car wrap and decals and business cards no I do not but then I I was like huh you know we should probably put a put a sign on the door for summer hours at iPad Rehab, which honestly aren't that much different than, than winter hours. So the sign that I made for our front door just said, summer hours, hit or miss, call business line. Because we kind of uh, 
show up when we feel like it. For example, I might start working at 1.30 a.m. You never know. <coughs> All right. Not working. Good morning. Is there a stream coming up? It will wait a bit. What the hell? So late. Someone get her some Viagra. Hmm. So is just asleep streaming? Indeed. You weren't streaming right away. All right, good. What you talking about? That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, you were slow to get it up. Gotcha. All right. Just spoke with Mark. Okay. I was trying to get to bed early. Well, what the hell are you doing working this late? And I realized that I'm up this late working as well. This to print is the king of upsell. Yes, it is. It is. And it's funny because you, you never know, like you, you know whenever you buy something from Vistaprint that they're gonna they're gonna say the and just for you, you can in the next ten minutes also order a second copy of you know two or three things in your cart. So if you if you know, yeah, I'd like to actually have two of these signs, you don't know when you order just one. If it will say, and you can have a second one of these for five bucks. You gotta kind of play the play the Vista Print game. And Lewis is still unaware that I started a stream. Total payback. He does that to me all the time. Super annoying. I'll be typing out some long middle of the conversation thing. And then get a notification. Lewis is streaming now. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to take this shield off so that we can just do a quick tri-star job on this phone. And hopefully that's what's actually wrong with it. So this is a good old iPhone 5S. It's 1.40 a.m. Well, it looks like I'll be up for the next hour or more. Oh, don't worry. The good thing about these, uh, about my piece of shit camera, I mean, my wonderful new camera, is that the I, I intended to start streaming uh, a while ago tonight, but the I, I came in here and the battery was stone cold dead. So I had to sit here and charge it. So it charged up, but that battery only lasts for I don't know how long. So when the camera dies, then we're going to be done. All right. Um, you want to see the king of actually making upsells? Church directory photo services. Holy shit. That's pretty funny. Church directory. Church directory upsells. All right. We're going to go ahead and just change out this TriStar and see if that makes this phone charge normally. I think I'm just going to have to to tell him uh, that I started streaming. That is a, that is a, that is long. Well, she figures out what try star does at 2 a.m. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's get this sucker off. Plus, it's pretty, it, nobody's in here. It's so quiet. It's 10.39 a.m. in Pakistan, 1.40 p.m. in lovely Perth, Western Australia. Greetings from Phone Fix Italy. Have an awesome day tomorrow. I sure will. All right, let's get this chip off. Good old iPhone 5S TriStar. This is one of, if you haven't done a TriStar job, this is a really easy one to start with because there's no underfill and there's not a lot of chips around that are going to be bothered by heat. I did forget one thing that I usually do, which is to pull the sticker on the other side of the, on the other side of the little dock connector. Let's see how bad it is for me. Yep, this is why you got to pull that sticker because the heat that you blow on it will make it do that, and that will sometimes pull these little peckers off right with that sticker. Let's see if I have to stick any of them back. Nope, 
Yay, made it. Made it out of that alive. Alright, and when you do a 5S TriStar, you want to stay away from blowing your heat towards the audio IC. That's the only thing that is underfilled in this area. Alright, let's get those solder balls cleaned up. Let's see, should we wick these? Let's think about it. Mm, nope, let's not. Let's not. Let's squirt a little bit of Amtec jizz on here and get this sucker mopped up. Alrighty. Easy, easy, easy. No reason to ever pull pads on your 5S TriStar job. And that is good enough to go. Do you prefer 6040 or 6337 for micro soldering, or does it not make a lot of difference? It probably doesn't make a lot of difference. However, if I had to pick, I'd pick 6337. That's the eutectic solder, which has the magical property of having a very, very narrow plastic range. And what that means is that it is going to be totally liquid at 185 degrees or whatever it is, something close to that, and totally solid at 184 degrees or whatever the actual number is, something close to that. And that's a, as opposed to the 6040. The 6040 is going to have a plastic range, meaning it's going to be kind of in a mixed state. Some of it's liquid, some of it's solid, through a range of, I don't know, something like 10 degrees. And that can cause disturbed joints if you are trying to heat something and, and, then it, and then it sort of nudges or moves around as it cools down. So having the 6337 would be ideal if you had to pick. But honestly, if you already have a bunch of... 6040, you probably won't notice a whole heck of a lot of difference. Where'd you go, buddy? All right. So we're going to go ahead and install the new iPhone 7 TriStar, FYI, which is the 610A3B chip. So we'll go ahead and put this on here, and then I actually need to order some chips, and I'm going to use a new supplier that I'm super excited about. Because the business of stocking chips, ordering them from China, getting what you want, looking at them all is a real pain in the ass. So the guys that do domestic chip supply make life a lot easier. I'm a big fan of using new chips. They're not terribly expensive and it eliminates the variable. For example, TriStar. TriStar is the worst chip ever to try and reball. And why is that? Think about how does TriStar fail. Does TriStar fail from drop damage? Where it just kind of comes off its balls a little bit? Or does it fail from electrical damage from cheap chargers? So if you have even a donor board, the likelihood that the guy who had that phone was using a dollar store charger is probably pretty high, especially for an older phone like the 5S. 100% uh, of iPhone 5S owners no longer have the original Apple cable that came with the phone. It undoubtedly was eaten by a cat long before now. So what do you do when you have no charger? You go to the dollar store because to the consumer, a piece of wire seems like a piece of wire. To a consumer, this seems like it is just a piece of wire and that there's no reason in hell that you should go pay $19 for the one from Apple. So people generally don't. All right, who wants to inspect my balls? All right, I just got here. I know he's a legit tech, maybe he's drunk. Uh, who's the legit tech that's drunk? Hmm, Radio Shack, Radio Shat Solder. I think there's nothing wrong with Radio Shack solder, I don't think. iPad Rehab, not impressed. What are you talking about? Who is who is drunk? Oh, there we go. Lewis is here. I'm scared. Why? All right. I am getting... I'm going to let this cool down while I go order my chips. Speaking of Lewis, in case I have a problem, it's good that he is around. Okay. Um... 
I unbanned him. He's legit. All right, great. <coughs> um, okay, so let's go to screen and let's go look for some chips to order. So we are gonna follow a link that I got earlier to this fascinating website. We'll move the chat down for a little bit. One of the chips that I have run out of is the iPhone 6S backlight driver. So I was looking for who can supply this and I found them here at mailin.repair where there's lots of chips. So let's see, let's, let's add to, Let's add to cart some backlight driver chips. How about five? Add to cart, mofo, come on. There we go. All right, let's see how this works. Um, what else did I, let's see if, how hard it is to find this stuff. iPhone six backlight driver is another one that I need. So let's find out iPhone 6, TriStar, no, backlight driver, Flash IC, Touch ID driver, connectors, battery connector, backlight filter fuse. I just kind of want to see what's on here. PMIC. Uh, oh, Q1403, Chestnut, Mason, all these great old friends, Cumulus, Backlight Filter, Camera LDO, Baseband PMIC, Backlight Driver, Backlight Driver, is that the right one? Let's look. Look at those like watermarked pictures so no one can steal it. If I decide to start selling chips, I can't steal this picture. Backlight Driver. Pick it. Quantity left, 50. All right, let's do five of those. Add to cart. Great. I will check out with PayPal. And we will just go back to camera for a little bit so that I can check out with PayPal and see how hard or easy it is. Ship to Jessa Burdett. Yes. iPad rehab address. Come on, PayPal. Why you got all these wrong addresses? What? Where's the iPad rehab address? All right, we're just gonna leave it at that. All right, continue. I don't remember picking a shipping option. Please select a shipping method. Media mail? Seriously? Fine, I will pick media mail. I just had to delete media mail off of my iPad Rehab Supply website because uh, media mail is kind of uncool. All right, here we go. I have not read or agreed to any of these specified terms and conditions. Place order. Now let's see if I get to choose another magazine subscription <coughs> Thank you for, oh, I do get to choose another magazine subscription. This is my favorite. This is my favorite part of ordering from Rossman Repair Group. Uh, I can get a $100 reward. Here, I will save you the trouble and I will let you know what it is. It's going to be magazine subscriptions. So exciting. Oh, I'm totally going to recommend these guys. Just so fucking awesome that these guys have this. Now, what do what did I just purchase? I purchased sporting goods. And how much did you spend on this purchase? Oh, I spend, I would spend a million dollars with the amazing folks at Rossman Repair Group. Um, when do you expect all of the items to be delivered? Today, obviously. Email address required. Oh, it would be tempting to put uh well, let's see what happens if I put a legitimate one. Just put info at mendenipadrehab.com. Let's continue the survey. What, you, they won't let me spend more than 50 grand. Fine, I'll just limit it to 50 grand. 
Continue survey. This is fun. How satisfied are you with each of the following aspects of this purchase? The overall look and design of the site was awesome. The ease of finding it was pretty easy. The selection of products. Uh, I think he was missing a few things. Clarity of fantastic. Looks like it was almost copied right off of microsoundrysupply.com. The checkout experience was easy. Including this order, how many online purchases have you made from these guys? Oh, every day. Are all no, no, no. I'm none of this is. I'm not gifting this. Uh, wow, it's amazing that that uh, that we need all of this uh, detailed biographical information. Let's see. Jeez, wow. Share your comments. Uh, Of course, Rossman Repair Group can spam me every day. What? The primary topic of your comment? Uh, general merchant comment. How would you describe your comments? Definitely positive feedback. Nickname, Pepe, duh. Submit. Oh, I can't wait for my $100. Yay! Thank you, Thank you reward. Yay, oh my gosh, what should we get? What should we get? All right, I think, I think it's time to be done with that. <laughs> and that was an amazing purchasing experience, of course. It is funny, I've, I've, I walked that road before and filled all that shit out just to be like, what the, what the heck is this? And it did lead me to the magazine subscription. So I ordered one, I ordered Woman's Day, and I am pretty sure that they processed it and they're gonna be sending it straight to an address in Brooklyn, New York. I think that will be really funny. Okay, let's just kind of skip, skip down to the, to the end. 6040 is annoying because it's lack of eutectic property. Yes. Uh, the legit tech suffering from a hangover. Maybe we should do a chart of what TriStars work with what phone or iPad. Okay, here's a chart. All of them work with everything except for the iPhone 5, the iPad 4, and the iPad mini original. Everything else uses one chip, which is the 610A3B. Available at mailin.repair. Um, everything else, the three guys that are the original lightning devices, the iPhone 5, the iPad 4, and the iPad mini original use the 1608A1 chip. So there you go, there's your list. Doesn't sound very fun. What are you talking about? Super fun. Let's stay up until 4 a.m. Yay, we're in our 20s again this morning. Oh God, get me the water. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Are you and Jason speaking? Of course they're speaking, they're, they're, they're super good friends. What time did you end up waking up? All right, if you want, you and your staff can come to California and have jobs. Mm-hmm. I don't understand the question. Uh, cat stuff, you're selling chips now. Yes. A uh, couple of Pepe's, media mail is hard. Why? Just because technically the rules of media mail are super sharky, you have to have media and uh, backlight drivers are not media. Other than that, it's great. Um, I wonder if I'm, I bet I get a free upgrade on shipping because of my magazine purchase and amazing feedback on survey. So someone stream with Lewis Rossman. She's fully taken the piss. I don't know what that means taking the piss out of his site. What are you talking about? His site is awesome. He fucking put a shit ton of work 
work into that seriously like the, the entire time he's banging his head on entering all these ships i'm like i'm never doing this i'm never doing this uh hurry up and get what i need up there so that i can order it looks way easier two words for pmic and tristar difference what uh skewing the statistics what are you talking about biz rate should have been shit canned <laughs> you said that the last time I don't believe this will work at the end. Why? Well, it's definitely still there. I checked an ultrasonic in this website. It costs up to $800. Are they serious? I don't know. That sounds pretty cheap. I would have expected it to be 1000 So if it's only 800 it does seem a little sketchy that it would be that low. But I think that, it's, I think that, that he, he probably is good for it. I got zero reviews of, over the course of a year and gave up. What, that's bullshit, because I know I already left one review and got some magazines. Uh, what else is going on? Delay the shipment. Why? I'm a legitimate customer. Wow, this is spammy. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, do you have ISLs in stock? Yes, he does. He has fucking shit tons and shit tons and shit tons of chips in stock. <laughs> I'm not trolling him. I'm. What are you talking about? How is this evil or trolling? I just made a legitimate purchase from a website that I highly recommend. I I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, hi Jessa. Have you noticed the Lewis photo with I'm still with her in the lower right? What are you talking about? That's weird. On my channel? Huh? That's weird. I thought there was a Pepe picture in the lower right. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see if this sucker pulls normal charging current, shall we? And then we can fuck with it. Yay. If it doesn't, then I'm probably going to just pick a different repair because I don't think we have a lot of other straight up TriStar jobs around. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it didn't stream to Twitch. I have no idea why. I don't know why. Don't know what's up with that. Why is why am I not able to put a digitizer connector on a digitizer? What the heck? one of those days there we go snap it into place all right screen and we'll take a known good battery and i don't have a fucking dock i was using their housing we'll stick it back in their housing we'll try their dock we'll try their dock bad idea but we'll do it anyway We will do it anyway. Now for battery. And now for cable, which, where did I put that? Where did I put the cable? Right here. I don't know how we got this super, super long one. Oh, Twitch is working. Awesome. Great. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's see what happens. And phone is booting. And it is, da da, pulling normal charging current. Yay! So this was a straight up TriStar job. So let's do some tests. Let's see. Um, let's let it, oh, it's booting to recovery mode. Fantastic. So this is pulling normal, normal charging current. Let me just see what happens on this one if I can kick it out of recovery mode. So I am going to um, use the REI boot to try and kick it out. So let's go look at that screen. Uh, where are you, little REI boot? There you are, buddy. Let's plug this thing into the computer. I don't have them yet, or I'd give it for free. All right, exit recovery mode. All right, and I'm gonna pull out the cable. They kept shorting me on orders, fuckers. 
All right, let's see if it goes back to recovery, which it does 90% of the time, but let's see. Check vet supplies. What are you looking for? The plunger? Jessa, do you follow the rumors and leaks regarding future eye products? Absolutely not. I couldn't care less. It doesn't really... I'm a, I'm a fan of, um, of not worrying about things until you have to worry about them. Because if you worry about something that, you know, like, what are, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about the fact that, you know, iPhone 8, insert, insert rumor here, that affects your life? You can't do anything about that. So there's, there's no sense in worrying about something that may not actually even be true. Because I like money, what? MCP will be dead. Let's see. I've been changing a lot of TriStars lately. Thank you, China, for making us a lot of money. China. Oh, wow. That's like a first. It actually kicked itself. It, the, the amazing re-i boot, or however you pronounce that, re-i boot, I don't know, um, actually worked, which is a freaking miracle. So that means it has booted into the iOS. And I'd like to find their passcode, but I have no idea what I did with that paperwork. Let's see. Where was that? Was it you? No. Where is their passcode? Oh, it was one of these. I think it was with this. Two devices. Nope, that's just the iPad Mini 4. I thought it was two devices with this thing. But maybe I'm wrong. I will look up the repair shopper ticket. Repair Shopper, save the day. Let's go to repairshopper.com. Let's log in. I'm going to log in here. Sign in. And I can type in the labeled phone here, ticket number. And Repair Shopper will tell me everything there is to know about this entire, entire device and problem. Let's see. Passcode, none, but you can call Linda if needed. Fantastic. Love when they don't provide the passcode. All right, fantastic. Okay, doesn't matter. We are here to assess charging. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get ready here to go to school on TriStar function, and today I will tell you which line I want to find out more about. All right, but in order to do that, we need to um, assess. Let's do some tests. All right, so I'm plugging in the cable in one direction, and it has normal charging current, which for an iPhone 5s on this charger is more or less one amp, depending on the charge state of the battery. All right, charge state of the battery is, man, that is hard to, hard to see. And of course, they don't have battery percentage enabled, fantastic. 29% charged. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I see the lightning bolt connector, so that tells me that the device knows that it's charging in addition to pulling charging current. So now it's pulling, Point, point 0.9. I'm going to turn the cable around the other direction and see if it also detects in the other direction. And it does. Charging percentage has gone up on the device to 30%, which means it can uh, detect the gas gauge in the battery. So there's no problem between the battery, the board um, for gas gauge. And that, I think, is good. Now let's see if the computer can detect it. So I'm going to plug it into the computer. And I hear the computer detect it. Let's see what iTunes has to say. iTunes is telling me that I need to go get a different cable. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So let's see. So here we can see that iTunes is detecting it. Let's move that out of the way. So it wants me to accept the trust dialogue, which I can't do, but that's all right. Let me grab my favorite blue 
draw a power cable <coughs> from this data recovery job that is done. And try that again. All right, so cancel. All right, so it is detecting it in one direction. We'll put this back. And I'm going to just flip this cable around. Flip. And it detects it in the other direction as well. And then with this cable, I just want to kind of confirm that this cable is good for charging, which it is. So we've got one amp pretty much in one direction. And I'm going to pull this cable out, flip it, and try the other direction. And it is pulling normal charging current in the other direction as well. Great, test is over. So let's read chat and then we're gonna go on a lesson on the schematic to see what we can learn about how TriStar works. All right, vet supplies, rumors and leaks. What does TriStar really do? We're gonna find out. Syringes and surgical stuff from vets. Where, can't you just buy that stuff at Rite Aid? Like, I, like Rite Aid totally has, totally has. Are you talking about these things? These things are um, pretty. You know who would have these like from science days? Um, like a syringe is a pretty common biological supply that you can just order online from VWR, I bet, VWR.com. All right, is there anything that can be done with an iPhone 1 to make use of it? Yes, it could be art for your shop. It'd be pretty cool. I use a rubber band on my 10cc for solder paste. Hmm. The rubber part of the plunger. The rubber part of the plunger, uh, totally unnecessary. Let's see, do any of these have rubber parts? Let's see. Oh, beautiful chip quick comes with, for free, no upcharge, free, every tube of delicious, beautiful, clear, golden chip quick comes with the rubber thing. Let's check the Amtec. No, hmm, boo, fail. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? All right, seven-year-old board to fix. Uh, uh, MacBook questions? <laughs> Amscope crew, yes, device not found, what? All right, half the time I'm typing an answer to question, I click preview and he already replied. Hmm, he can't possibly be looking at schematics at all. They're all in his head. Anyone using the Amscope find the working distance is too small? Nope, I love it being small. I absolutely love it. And a Barlow lens, I can't stand. But Mark, Mark can't stand not using the Barlow lens. All right, Barlow lens is almost required. Fuck that, I can't stand that thing. All right. Chat, chat, chat. What phone does she use as a daily driver? Just curious. Looks like iTunes has never actually been used. What? Uh, I use uh, the good old Jessa iPhone 6, which is constantly being raped. So this is my personal phone with absolutely no screws in it so that I can do this all the time and take it apart for anybody that ever wants to see. Throw it in water six or seven times, constantly using it to demo what the uh, known good would look like on DC power supply, blah, blah, blah. But never buy an iPhone, those things suck. All right. Hi, Lewis, revenge on feedback. All right. Uh, traders don't get free rubber, go buy from. Wait, does Jason actually sell? I don't believe that. 
I don't think we we had the two that we bought from him and the like ten thousand that we bought from you. Go buy it from Jason. Does he actually have the rubber stoppers? I don't know. Jessa, you must have smaller hands than I do. Probably not. Jessa loves it being small. You heard it first here. Nice. Followed up with just pulled it out again and measured. Hmm. Is 91% rubbing alcohol good for cleaning a laptop keyboard by like drowning it in rubbing alcohol? I'm going to go with no, but I have absolutely no idea. So that's just a guess. But in general, alcohol uh, doesn't like things like rubber and shit that I would predict would be part of keyboards, but who knows? All right. No playlists or media in iTunes. Yeah, because, you know, we don't back up. We, we just use iTunes to make backups, which we then parse with. Um, third-party software and I'm gonna do a video probably this week on exactly how we do that all right maybe he stole it from Lewis what the rubber stoppers all right so we're caught up so let's go on a little tour let me find let me dig up the iPhone 5s schematic and we will see what we can learn and come up with an experiment on TriStar so let's see um, Let's see, iPhone 5S, which one of these is the good one? Which one of these is the good one? We'll, we'll pick this one. All right, so let's go on a tour. All right, so let's do this. I think that it's uh, one thing that I can't stand to see is people trying to find stuff in schematics like this. Oh, backlight. Uh, got anything for backlight? Oh, good, we got lucky. What about charging? Nope. What about, what about cameras? Okay, good. Oh, there we go. We, we found our way to the gyroscope chip. That is generally a, a poor way to just sort of guess what words there are here in the schematic. So when I'm trying to, to understand a chip, I like to start at the anchor point. The thing that you always know, which is TriStar, has something to do with charging permissions, according to Please Bros on the Internet. So that means I should be able to find it by starting here at the connector. The connector is always your anchor point. So let's start at the connector, J7 and see what we can figure out. This better be, ah, go back. This better be a searchable one. All right, so here we go. This is the J7 dock connector or charge port connector. And let's see if we can figure out where the charger voltage goes. So I see a whole lot of business in here that has to do with microphones, speakers, headphones, and then Let's see what this big heavy duty line is right here. We see PP5V0 USB connector. All right, so that means this is the actual charger voltage. So charger voltage comes in, and then the other relevant lines that are gonna have to do with TriStar are over here. So let's see what these guys are. So we have a power rail E75 to TriStar. ACC, maybe accessory two and accessory one. So we have these two pins <coughs> that are kind of paired. So think of the lightning connector itself as a palindrome and you'll find, you know, one ACC one and ACC two are almost certainly going to map out to different pins depending on which way you plug in the lightning connector. All right. So what the hell is E75? Who knows what E75 is? If you guessed that E75 is the lightning connector chip, this is the guy that's actually in the, in the connector. You can watch my videos on why you need to use made for iPhone or Apple certified cables. This is the guy that talks to TriStar. So TriStar and E75 have a little chat that goes something like this. Um, hey bro, something just got shoved up my ass. Oh yeah, it's me. It's E75. And listen, I'm a bona fide, certified, legit Apple charger. 
you can count on me to send you a clean, filtered, beautiful straight line 5 volts charging voltage that I'd like you to pass on to whoever it is that does charging. And TriStar says, oh, you're E75? Well, okay, because if you were some kind of piece of shit gas station charger, I'd tell you to get the fuck out, accessory not supported. But since you're E75, you're totally legit, and I can count on you to provide me with that clean, beautiful, straight line, no ripple, no surge, no problem, five volts from the USB charger. So that's a little chat that TriStar and E75 have. And then TriStar's job after that because, you know, he, you know, TriStar is just sort of the restaurant host. So if E75 comes along and says, hey, bro, I'm a charger, then TriStar says, all right, let me go talk to my friend Tigris uh, in the iPhone 6 or in the iPhone 5S, my friend at the PMIC, and let's see if we can get the charging uh, engine fired up here. But conversely, the thing that you've plugged up the ass of the phone could be, for example, your computer, in which case, Oh, you want to do data transfer, okay. Or it could be some piece of shit Chinese fan. Oh, you want me to actually send you power. All right, well, we can do that. So TriStar is just the restaurant host that's going to have, have this little chat and figure out who's knocking at the door. Uh, then E75 to TriStar accessory one and two makes sense. These are power lines that are going to be power probably out from the connector out and go on to power some sort of accessory that you've plugged into the phone. So let's see where these guys go. I really have never really looked at this in this detail in the air. All right, so those accessory lines have some filters in them. Accessory, detect, ID, power. So this I think is really important, accessory. And I think accessory doesn't necessarily mean a fan or a or a, you know, wow, oh, I saw in China, you can get a, you can actually get a projector, like a, like what we're, I'm using to project on the screen right now. You can get a little handheld LCD projector that plugs into your lightning port. So this is accessory detect, ID, who are you, and power. All right, so that's this whole little branch of lines. Accessory, E75 detect, ID, and power. And that's interesting because I would have thought the ID would come through these data lines up here, but apparently not. All right, so let's see what else. Let's move chat over here. Okay. China fans, I don't get why the hell. All right. Um, okay, so let's see what else we have going on here. Why is everything kind of in green, no clue. All right, so then we have E75, so E75 in the lightning cable to the PMU accessory detect. So this is just the overall, something just got shoved up my ass line. And then we've got these two sets, P, positive, negative, positive, negative. These are uh, data pair one and data pair two. So again, with that palindrome thing, this is probably in one direction sending data, and if you plug the cable in the other direction, then the other pair will be sending the data. All right, so then we have these guys, LAT SW2 and 1, which I really don't think I've ever seen before. Yeah, okay, baseband to whatever LAT SW2 and 1 are. So I'll be glad to hear what your ideas are on what the hell LAT SW1 and 2 are. I have no idea. Um, battery temperature comes through the dock, which seems like a little bit of an odd choice compared to the other devices. Battery to PMU temperature. Interesting. All right, then we've got some headphone stuff going on. All right, so these guys are going to all go to TriStar. So let's find our way to TriStar. Let's first find our way to TriStar by follow, following the 5 PP5V0 USB. And the reason I'm going to pick that is because we know that charger damage or cheap chargers is going to potentially punch in the face any what we can call a charger facing chip. So we're going to guess that TriStar is a charger facing chip. But let's see what else might be a charger facing chip. 
Test point one. All right, we don't care about that. Let's get rid of the word connector so that we don't get bogged down and lose our line. <coughs> five volts on the five volt line. Makes sense? All right, so here is, let's actually come back to that one. We've been there. Really, that's it? All right. Information, information, information. Now there's two lines here, 5V0 USB connector and 5V0 USB PROT, which to me means protein. But I'm pretty sure that that's, that, that, that is something else. So you guys uh, that are designers can clue me in on what PROT probably means. All right, so here is charger voltage that is coming in to TriStar. And in the 5S, the TriStar chip is in the U2 position. So this is how we kind of found our way to TriStar. So we should be able to find how USB, uh, 5V USB changes names, which is gonna be through this little dude on the same page. All right, let's find him. All right, so from the charger into the dock, here comes five volts barreling down this line. and we get to Q2. So Q2, Q2 is a transistor, and when you see source and drain and gate, you can kind of look at this and, and, and make an idea of what probably happens here. On all transistors, I think of them as if conditions are present at the gate or absence, absent at the gate, if conditions are met at the gate, source and drain are gonna to talk to each other. So source and drain are gonna are going to connect and then we can see what's going on here at the gate and we see that gate is really just a resistor to ground so let's kind of think of this as potentially a safety valve a kind of pressure release valve path to ground if you did have some surge blow through here however this doesn't really um doesn't doesn't really help preserve tristar all right so now on the other side of q2 so q2 is just a little dude that's going to connect five volts from the charger and five volts on the other side of this Q2 transistor is just gets renamed. Five volts, USB, prot, protein, proton. What does that stand for? Prote? P rot? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. Let's see. Did you, have you guys, uh, I would say that a touch screen could be a big bonus when you look around schematics. You know what's a big bonus when you look around schematics? Having an enormous, uh, an enormous view. So I'm, I'm projecting this on, an, on a giant chalkboard. You can even, uh, you know, it fills this enormous, enormous whiteboard. So it's really easy to kind of move around. All right, so now this is how we got renamed to PP5V0USB PROT. I think that sounds the funniest. All right, what? Nope, all right, so we are gonna just type that in. PP5V0 underscore USB underscore protein. Come on, you can find it, you piece of shit. Copy, paste. What the fuck is that? God damn it. Let's see. PP5V0. Here we go. So now, power in for handshake. So see how this is no longer a dark bolded line? It's a thin data line. So I think this means that when this five volts from the charger comes barreling down here and bangs into TriStar chip, that this is really just signaling a, a kind of a, a data checkbox. Yes, five volts is here, hello. It's not really powering anything. It's just knock, knock, who's there? Charger voltage, hey bro. So my guess and this is totally just sort of theory and hypothesis as to why is it that tristar gets fucked in the head all the time and 
one of the reasons might be that that this isn't really meant to handle the transfer of the five volts to a charging system it's just a little i don't know what the inside of a chip looks like but let's just say it's just going to be a little dot that's that's going to be like hello is anybody there and it's just getting a, a plus or a minus so in that case you're not going to have a big fat trace like you would if you were thinking about a you know battery power line or something like that you're gonna have just like a little checkbox. so if you ramp in here with a tsunami of inappropriate surge from your charger then i think you could you could probably cause more damage to the chip itself because the the little teeny tiny silicon traces that are nano traces inside here might be really really delicate at pn just because it is listening as a data line rather than actually acting as a power oh protocol protocol well, that makes a lot of sense but it would be a lot more fun if it was p rot i'll tell you that all right protocol i'm gonna go with that that sounds that sounds pretty good all right so what else is going on here at tristar so let's look at how tristar itself is plugged into the wall so what's going on all right, so TriStar has, um, yes, I'm aware of that. So this is, this is a little bit different than it is in the iPhone 6. So we have uh, PP3V0, which is called PP3V0 TriStar, and it comes from the power management chip in the other devices like iPad Air and iPhone 6. Here it's called PP3V0 SD RAM. So that's one of the power lines to plug TriStar itself into the wall. And then we have PP1V8 SDRAM, which is also present in all the other TriStars. And then we have this guy, PP3V0 ACC. So this accessory power. So this guy also seems to plug into the top of the chip. And it's unclear, and this is one of the things that I want to think about. It's unclear whether or not this 3V0 accessory power line, is that actually turning on this chip? Is it power to the chip? or is power of the chip to 3v0 line here and this is just needs to be present if you have plugged in something to the lightning port that needs that accessory power so this would just go through the chip and sent out so this is what i'm i i have a lot of questions about tristar but my first interest is whether or not 3v0 accessory is required just in general for the chip to work or if it's only required if you've plugged in an accessory all right let's see let's see uh what you guys think it's a shame they didn't put a 10k resistor on the data line to avoid the micro effect ah and or 5v6 zener guess they're thinking no one will use crappy chargers and if they do suffer uh, well paul daniels i think that's a that's a good point but i i think that what i what i would would guess is that if you are the guy that's designing the system, you have set it up so that in your mind, you know, Apple controls everything. That initially in the iPhone 5, when this first existed, the idea was that E75 would only be present in bona fide Apple chargers. Now, if you look at the Apple charger itself, the Apple charger has a load switch, an NXP load switch, which offers overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, reverse polarity protection, temperature protection, all kinds of protection so that the device would never see all of that kind of shit. It would just get filtered out back at the charger. And I think that the designers thought, well, we've got this, you know, E75 chip here in the cable so that the device has to recognize that this is a legitimate Apple cable. Otherwise, the the software will say accessory not supported we don't know who you are get the fuck out and that the device therefore the de on the device side we don't really need to have a lot of protection because we're already protected so we don't need we don't need to do that we can save save on all that and it's amazing to me i i think that that's likely to be true and that it's it's amazing that it took like nine seconds for china to be like hey you know how we could make some money uh nobody wants to pay any kind of 19 dollars for a fucking wire so how about this why don't we make our own little fake e75 that doesn't have to handle all of the signing of data pins and all of that stuff fuck all that all of um 
<laughs> all of E75 from China, all it has to do is just say, I'm a legit cable bro, you can trust me. And uh, that's and that's what it does. And E75 itself is a little BGA chip. It has some logic in it. The fake cables have, uh, you know, well, these are going to be put together by like the Chinese kids in kindergarten after they get home and take a quick nap. They got to like work for 12, 14 hours. So those guys can't be doing BGA work. So these chips have little like a couple, two or three legs so that they can be soldered on by Harambe. You know, like they're they're just crap. So I think it's hysterical that it, it, it was instant before all these fake cables <laughs> popped up that are like, fuck load protection switch. We're not doing that, that's like money. We'll just get the cheapest piece of shit and unprotected load switch that we could come up with for uh, half of a cent. And we'll get the, the kids to, to, to solder these on after kindergarten's over for the day. We'll tack on an, a fake E75 that just says, I'm legit, bro, you trust me, okay? And we're good to go. And so, and so that completely foiled this entire design and really led to massive, massive amounts of problems. And I'm surprised that, that in the generation since, there's really not been very much change to the actual E75 TriStar interface to try to beef that up. Because it would work if the phone said, and, and it should, if the phone doesn't, I mean, if the phone does not have protection from this charger voltage, it should kick out your charger. I mean, that is good for you. Uh, this charger is going to catch on fire. Why don't you throw it away? I mean, it should just, it should just say that <laughs> as a message. All right, let's see. Um, I'm a legit cable bro. Just trust me. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, protection. Mmm, I like that better than protocol. <laughs> Yeah, that's what is exactly what that sounds like because the USB is renamed PROT on the other side of the Q2 uh, protection element. So in theory, this side is protected because of the uh, path to ground in between USB 5 volt and USB 5 volt protected. Doesn't really work that great, but in theory, yeah, I like that. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. I know you're not working on iPhone 7. That's right. I'm working on TriStar. But I had a thought if you start a device with the original home button when the phone is booted and do a hot swap. Well, we're going to have to wait for... <laughs> we, we tried. I sent Mark down to the Apple store with, the, with our piece of shit iPhone 7. It was in the middle of course week. So I was like, all right, Mark, here's, all, here's like the, the couple of the screws and here's the original screen that I ripped one of the cables off of, and here's the original home button. So just go down there, because he was, I had to send him there to buy this uh, dongle for, uh, for other stuff. And so he, he gets down there and, and talks to the guys, and they're like, oh yeah, you know, worst case scenario, you know, we'll have, you'll have to pay 129 if we see that this phone has an aftermarket screen, rather than the Apple Care Plus, whatever it is, $29 or something for, for a new screen. And so he was like, wait a minute. So if I have Apple Care Plus, but I have gone to independent repair and gotten a screen put on, and then I come to you to get a screen put on, it actually costs me more money, $129, than if I just came to you directly. So that was pretty interesting, which is undoubtedly because they need to make <coughs> make back that money because they can't harvest the LCD off of the aftermarket screen. So he goes down there and he's like, oh, it's going to be an hour wait. And I'm like, well, you know, just leave it then. And then they, they come back out and they're like, oh, sir, your phone is missing like all the screws. <laughs> yeah, we know. And so they, they totally bounced it on, uh, you know, you're going to have to buy a out of warranty replacement for a hundred bucks. Fuck that. I will dig up the screws and, you know, so I was like, Mark, just tell them, don't worry. And, and it was really funny because they saw the iPad rehab uh, love handle that's on the back of, of every phone. Love this thing. So the iPad rehab love handle, they're like, oh, that might mean that it's got a third party screen. Nope, it's a legitimate screen. So then uh, he came back out and, uh, and, and the guy had been like really talking down to Mark and then, uh, well, do you know anything about this company? He's like, oh yeah, I, I work there. Oh really? What do you do? Oh, I fix I fix iPhone motherboards. 
<laughs> and then uh, and then the guy came back on. He's like, all right, well, how about we just go dig up all the screws and then we'll, then we'll be back. And they said, okay. All right. So we, and all the iPhone 7 home button stuff is on hold until we have another working iPhone 7. All right. Ram this voltage through a checkbox door. Exactly. All right. Uh, if you have a PC power supply with a good PFC and computer, it means that the five volts is clean. Right, but that's not how people charge phones. People charge phones in cars which have really shitty five volts. Harambe, that's right. Um, I'm genuinely not surprised that Apple hasn't bothered to add in extra protection, more phone sales. Maybe. They don't add extra protection because it's built into the cable. Well, they don't add extra protection because it's built into the cable. That would make sense if you had some sort of a fail-safe lock, that it was at least hard to break, that it took longer than an afternoon to crack the whole thing and start churning out uh, light up hot pink cables that are, that, are, that are just flying from AliExpress to every cell phone repair shop, or shop in America along with cases and cases of fidget spinners. You know, it should, it should be a, more difficult than that. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Clinton ripped off the comma. Oh my God, I totally had that happen. I lost, I lost the comma on my Toshiba laptop back in grad school, which, which it's so funny. Like I, I can remember making a file where I like copied a comma and I just pasted it and then I hit save. So I had this file called comma that I would use for important things. Like if I was writing a letter of recommendation for a student or something like that, I would, I would, I would break out the legit comma. So I'd open that up, control C, and then I could copy and paste my comma as needed. But for day-to-day -day communications, you would be stunned at how long you can use a semicolon or just reinvent your entire language and communication structure around the semicolon just because the fucking comma got ripped off of your Toshiba laptop. And then I, I, I lived like that for like all of grad school until I started fixing this kind of stuff. And then I was like, well, you know, how much is it to get a new keyboard? $9. What? It was $9 and, you know, like six minutes of work to get a new comma. That was a great day. Getting my comma back. All right. Lewis Rossman, you can buy individual keycaps and anchor parts, you know, or a keyboard. It's really cheap. Uh, all right. iPad rehab. People come to me with this all the time. Get it fixed by someone else. We can't and won't fix it. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame them. I mean, I mean, the truth is we fucking raped the shit out of that. They have no business putting a screen on that and warrantying that. Uh, no, absolutely not. The chip in the lightning cable talks to the phone over one wire. I mean, if I bought a Belkin car USB charger, is that good? Not really. I mean, it's it's okay. They're as expensive as beep, and I like to take care of my devices. Well, you know, you do what you can. Honestly, changing TriStar is not that big of a deal. It's kind of like an oil change. So, you know, if it, you use a Belkin car charger, that allows you to plug in a bona fide certified made for iPhone cable or Apple lightning cable so that you have the protection in the chip. Jessa, another wrinkle is many newer Apple devices simply won't charge on older PCs. Mm, I don't know about that. iPad rehab. I noticed that your son's YouTube channel has Oh, P-O-L, with nothing else in his video description. Does that mean he's a frequenter of 4chan's P-O-L group? Uh, no, it does not. In fact, I was asking him on the way home yesterday whether or not he knew what Pepe was, and he did, which surprised me. So then he was like, well, I, I know what it is. I know it's this cartoon frog, but I'm not sure why it's like that big of a deal. So it's really difficult to try to explain this sort of like, well, Pepe is... Uh, without using the word 4chan, which I was not about to, to use the word 4chan. It was really funny because I was talking to Mark in the car uh, today and 
And I was telling him about that conversation and I was and I was asking him, I was like, hey, Bailey, what is the number one site that is um, kind of inappropriate, but it's but it's funny or interesting? Uh, the number one site that you would minimize on your computer if you heard me walking down the stairs. And he was like, oh, probably YouTube. And Mark said, how old is he? He's 12. And Mark's like, you got two years before the answer is most definitely 4chan. So I was not about to, to say that. If so, did he send Nancy Pelosi racist Pepe memes on Twitter? No, he didn't. If so, did he make them himself? No. No, he's too busy making claymation videos, which he's super excited about. Um, all right. No, no, no. By protection to the cable, the cable has a MOSFET that doesn't apply power to the phone if there's a problem with the source voltage to the cable itself. Right. Protection to the cable. Yes, exactly right. As long as you're using that cable, which nobody does. That's the problem. All right. My friend bought two cables, fake, and died after a few days of using. Phone's still working and charging, so I told her about explaining why it's wrong to use fake cable. Fantastic. Mm. I asked him about that POL, and he said that he just randomly typed a few things. Two or three dollars or thirty dollars or so for a, a keyboard. I believe it was nine dollars. It might have been like thirteen dollars, but it certainly wasn't more than more than that. Uh, let's see. Jessa sadly true. USB one and one point one. Not enough power to charge iPad Air. Oh, of course not. Right. Well, I mean, it's real. I think it's not a good idea to try to charge a phone off a computer anyway. Rule number one of 4chan is not admitting to your parents that you view 4chan. You're probably right, but not my sweet little boy. No way. Although I have to admit that I did have to have another chat with him that was something along the lines of, so Bailey, I noticed that you have pretty much switched over to uh, incognito browsing. What's up with that? And by the way, that's not cool. And he's like, oh, I just like the dark background. Mm. Well, you're not allowed to do that. So, so yeah. Um, talk to your children about 4chan before their friends do. Uh, no? <laughs> All right. I barely know what 4chan is. That's funny. Uh, outside of references here on Lewis's channel, I've never heard 4chan. I was introduced to 4chan my sophomore year of high school. Never been the same person since. All right. Um, well, this was a long time ago that I changed my keyboard. All right. Yes. Well, Mark at Lewis introduced me to 4chan and, and still continues to inflict me with links of, to 4chan bullshit. Just fucking, and I don't get it. I, I don't understand why anyone goes to 4chan. It, it would be like, hey, guys, let's all, who wants to sneak down to the, to the, to the 10th grade boys locker room? And just like, let's just kind of like get ourselves into the lockers and be really quiet. And we'll just like listen in on what they talk about. Won't that be fun? Oh my God, that'll be so fun. No, <laughs> that's exactly what 4chan is like. Um, no interest in that. I don't understand that at all. All right. Dark background is BS. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Not my sweet kid. No, 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 no. All right. Let's get busy. Uh, <laughs> Um, let's, let's get busy. <coughs> privacy is how you develop. Without privacy, you don't develop. Well, I mean, we, no one wants to read 4chan around their mom. Why? I mean, you can sit around and read a little 4chan. What's the deal? Mark was the one that, that infected me. I remember, this was years ago, before I'd actually even met him, I'd, I'd never laid eyes on him in person. So we worked together for like a year before I laid eyes on him in person. And I can remember him like sending me this link and then saying, or he just sent a, he made a reference to Reddit space sticks. And then he followed that up with just a do not go there. So I'm like, what the hell is this? I've never been the same since then either. So Lewis with 4chan and Mark with space sticks. And so that has polluted me. All right, let's get back to this chip, shall we? Screen, all right. Um, so what's going on here? So 
we have this, I'm, I'm interested first in what's up with the accessory power. Is that required for the chip to work at all? Or is it just required for an accessory? Or is it required for an accessory like a computer to transfer data? So that's the question I'd really like to answer today. So what else is going on here? Uh, these data, data pairs, we have before, uh, accidentally, one of the students deleted one of these, and I honestly thought that the consequence of that would be that maybe the phone couldn't charge except for in one direction. So if data pair one is gone, then you're only left with data pair two. So your cable would only work in one direction, but that wasn't true. It could charge in both directions, which means it probably couldn't, if I had to guess now, it may not be able to actually communicate with the USB through to the PC. All right, so then we've got this guy here, connection detect, and we already talked about this when it was at the charge port. So this is E75, two PMU accessory detect, meaning something shoved up my ass. So this is, my, this is the cloaca line, as Lewis liked to point out in his video, which I thought was um, pretty clever. So what's in my cloaca line? And then this one is the important one. This one with the, with the asterisk. This guy, D6, D6 is D money for TriStar Chip. So who's this guy? And this guy, I've changed my opinion on him a few times as I've messed around with fucking TriStar all the time. TriStar 2 PMU OVP SW enable low. This guy, this guy is the most important line out of them all for TriStar. So we'll come back to him. All right, so then we've got a reset line, and then we've got this guy, TriStar to PMU host reset. And these guys, these are just their regular old I2C0 data bus that goes around and talks to a bunch of guys. And then this one has gotten on my radar screen just this week, TriStar to CPU interrupt. And then I don't know what TriStar bypasses. So, one of the things I've noticed, and this is a, a kind of a pet theory that I'm excited to try out, and I'm sure somebody else is going to try it out before I see a device with this problem. But if you've, one, one sort of pet idea that I had this week was one of the students brought in an iPad Air 2, and its charging defect was that it would charge up just fine when you first booted it. So if you took the device, disconnected the battery, reconnect, and it's off, and then you said, plug in the charger, which means the E75 to PMU accessory detect says, knock, knock, who's there? It's me, E75, totally legit, bro, let me in. I've got five clean filtered bolts for you. And TriStar says, okay, well then let me go tell, uh, let me go tell the charger guy that you wanna charge, which would be that TriStar, this money signal, TriStar to PMU, hello, we're gonna charge, engage charging, charging gets the thumbs up. And then that will charge. So charging then goes to, in the 5S, power management chip takes over the actual charging, uh, charging function. Lewis sent you an image. Um, so that takes over and charging actually starts to happen. And it's Pepe, thank you for the Pepe. So what if the device at boot the power management chip has the sort of the attention of the TriStar chip because you prompted it to boot via USB or just not much is going on and it has the attention of TriStar. So if this power gate enable the TriStar to PMU OVP switch or data line is low, meaning thumbs up, that the PMU will start charging. So PMIC will start charging. But later, if you unplug the cable and then plug it back in, in these set of failures, the device will not charge again. So it'll charge once it boot, and then once it turns on, it will not. So these would be kind of one of the, some of these ones that will charge when off, but not when they're on, which previously I thought was a current sensing issue with the battery, and it, maybe that's still true. But my new theory is what if the problem is something like this? Try start a CPU interrupt. So TriStar may need to say, hey, bro, pay attention, excuse me. One of the students called this the excuse me line, which I like that. So if the excuse me line doesn't work, then this may be required later as the device is actually booting and you plug in something into the USB port 
in even if TriStar sends out the the PMU OVP switch enable low line, the, the thumbs up signal, even if that happens, it may be required to also first say excuse me. And if you can't say excuse me, nobody listens to you, just like at the dinner table. So that could mean that even if everything's fine, that you if you can't interrupt and say hey then you will not be able to charge when you plug and unplug the, the charger. So that's something that I've been interested to test. And that really, that sort of question is kind of what led me here, which is what do we really know about TriStar? You know, why is it even required for boot? Is it, you know, need to, need to, what does it need to get in order, in order to boot? And then we have this whole, whole other side that generally people kind of ignore. So <coughs> this is, Mikey bus, that's gonna be something to do with charge, or, you know, headphones or microphone or shit going on with the charge port, audio stuff. Um, and then this, no, you know, nobody has any idea what any of this shit is. But we're gonna just gonna lump all, we're gonna draw a big circle around this, except for maybe not that one, but everybody else here and say all of this shit has to do with programming the TriStar or listening in on device communication probably for, for debugging. This is essentially the JTAG connector of the iPhone, all of this shit in here. I don't think that any of this is gonna be really relevant for day-to-day -day function, but it could be wrong, I don't really know for sure. This one though, is my, my guess here on this, brick ID. So when I think about brick, what does brick mean? I think it means like charging brick, like what kind of charger? Are you talking about the little square dude, the iPhone charger? Or are you talking about the big honking iPad charger? Who are we talking to? So one of the pieces of information then that E75 has to pass may be, and I'm connected to an iPhone charger, in which case TriStar will then tell the PMU what kind, the identification, who am I talking to? And that may actually be a function of this accessory line as well, just because this went down and, and led to the word ID. So we don't really know, but that sounds important. So I'd like to do experiments. Who's ready to do experiments? Let's see what we can learn. For example, if I delete C2, if I just delete the ball from under the chip, I place a chip with a deleted ball so that connection is not there. Does that mean that either A, I can charge with, I can't charge at all. B, I, uh, that it defaults to a, some sort of a baseline default accepted charging current like 500 milliamps or one amp because it can't differentiate when you've plugged in an iPad charger versus an iPhone charger. So these are these are just some ideas. I am not clicking this this link you know uh, to whatever kind of Pepe shit that is or Koala or whatever. All right so let's see what you guys think and we will do experiment number one. And then I think I'll do, I don't know, we'll see if we can do at least, we'll do at least one. All right, so let's see um, what you guys have to say on this. Um, I refuse to check my son's browser history. Well, that is a mistake in my opinion. One of the, the, the conversations I had with Bailey when I gave him a phone was that, you know, when you are 18, you're an adult, and at that point you will have the full adult entitlement to privacy. Um, but between 12 and 18, you and I are gonna be kind of holding hands, walking towards your full entitlement to privacy. So I'm giving you this phone that I own and I'm letting you use it with the expectation that it's my job as your parent to kind of mentor you through as you learn how to behave on social media. For example, you probably don't want to make a YouTube video that's filled with the word fuck. Oops, um, you know, all, all the time. Uh, or just, just sort of a guide or mentor, a parent, you know, to actually parent them through this process. And you need to kind of have some baseline of trust and that trust will probably change as he gets older and wants to have more privacy. And I respect that, um, but it's also my job to keep him safe. So we'll have to kind of just talk and see see how that see where that road takes us. But he understands that um, it is it is really more important for a parent to you know it's it's all above board. He, it is clear. I'm not going to go 
I, I would ask him, Bailey, I'd like to look at your phone to see what you've been up to. I'm not going to, to kind of do that behind his back. So the sort of trust goes both ways a little bit. I've measured Apple devices pulling the same one amp from a PC USB port as if they were plugged into the original charger, no issue. I think that is the default. That's the that's the low, the 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 one amp. Your sweet kid has links to 4chan in his channel comments now. Don't, no, fuck you. <laughs> no, now I'm gonna have to invade his privacy to have admin rights to his channel. Is that even true? I'm gonna find out. I gotta go on a tangent. I gotta I gotta go on a tangent. This this can't this can't happen. Ta did, why did I send you a link to his channel? That was the dumbest thing I ever did. Note to self, put more thought into links that I send to Lewis Rossman. <laughs> Let's see, Bailey Burdett. Bailey Burdett has made some, um, some hopping claymation videos lately. Let's see. I don't know what that poll, poll means. Yeah, this is him being cool. Um, he's, he's a funny kid. Oh yes, the scissors, I watched this uh, just, just yesterday. The scissors, don't mess with scissors, kids. See, nice, short, everybody likes short. All right, there we go. Uh, 10 subscribers. I gotta check for comments. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck this! Get on the ground! What the, the fuck? Police. That is so uncool. Get Report spam. Ground. All of these. Okay. Why'd you do that? I don't know, I just did. Yes. Such a Alright. God, that is so not cool. Not a funny troll. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, all right. Um, you measured one amp from your PC because your computer told it, go ahead, bro, I'm good for an amp. That's right. Uh, all right. Let's see what else you guys have. When you're looking on Walmart for car chargers and see FCC warning for wireless FCC warning with information saying wireless microphone system. Shoved up my ass phrase is stuck in my head. Uh, what? Pepe. Oh, I can't see that far away. One of the nuns at the local Catholic girls' school guilt tripped me to look at their computers. 4chan everywhere. Oh my God, that is hilarious. My last daughter finished there long ago, but the nuns never lose your name. The nuns are the ones posting on 4chan. The, the nuns, I mean, if you're a nun, totally reading 4chan. All right. Um, let's see. Lat SW1 is thinking it's latching error indication switch. Latching error. Hmm. Like plugging in? Hmm. Brick is what you use to get icy. I don't know what that means. All right, I'd probably try for a software update. Great video idea. I've had this question on my mind for quite some time. Yes, um, I'm not clicking that link. Lewis Rossman, did you get my email? Says Adam, some word I can't read because it's too far away and I'm old. Um, blah, blah, blah. What if you, what if, uh, <laughs> what if Lewis took off all these TriStars thinking it was JTAG connector? That'd be pretty funny. All right. Um, is Ethan one of your sons? No. The only thing I do on his channel is edit people that type in text speak. I can't stand that. I mean, I, I can't stand that. The, the, the Girl Scout troop leader sends this like message like, don't forget marigold planting is going to be on Monday. Um, you are, girls are awesome. Ugh, no, what a smacker. Uh, right, 
How old you said your son is? 12. 12 years old. All right. You didn't, but you made your subscriptions public, which I used to find his channel and leave 4chan links. I am 100% sure that I sent you a link to Bailey's channel yesterday when I realized that he had a channel, which previous to yesterday, I never thought about. 100% sure. I mean, it, I'm also 100% sure that you probably didn't read that and you just kind of skimmed over that one. Uh, let's see. I have a 10 year old daughter and your point of view on parenting social media is great. Might have to use it on her, yeah. I mean, you can, you can get into devastating trouble and especially like seeing all of these phones come in here, you know, with teens will incriminate themselves on their phone no matter what, they can't help it. It's in their, it's in their DNA. And I think that, um, I think that parents in general should kind of consider it part of parenting to kind of be, a, you, you have to be aware and, and any way that you can be aware is, is totally part of your job, as long as you're not a douchebag. You know, if you ruin, if you ruin the, res the mutual respect that you have, I mean, me and this kid kid around and, you know, like I, I treat him like a miniature adult um, but it's clear that, that I'm, I'm his parent, but we can talk about things and I would, I, it's hard to imagine, although I know it's true that we'll sort of lose that kind of trust bond, but I want to try to, uh, keep that as long as I can, but I do consider it more, it's more my job to be aware of what's going on in his life. Um, and hopefully he will just continue to tell me and I won't have to you know, go read his phone behind his back. But I think that kind of holding their hand as they go through social media and learn that is really important. That's how I saw Bailey's channel yesterday. It said you liked his page. I did like his page and you should too, so that you too can see what kind of hilarious, uh, he had Barney on there um, having some sort of asthma attack. I mean, it's a funny kid. Times to thumb up my comment as fixing mom. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Learn today that the 1610A3 TriStar IC is backward compatible. Yes, it is. And well, I mean, throw it away. You never need to, you never need to use that one. After all the trouble I went through to get specific, yeah, that's dumb. You only need one and the one you want is the 610A3B because that's compatible with everything. So we might as well just get that one. I wish I knew English better and chat with you on higher level. Are you saying noise on the power line is getting the TriStar? Yes. Or spikes? Yes. Uh, I was his age when I found 4chan. And look how you turned out 4chan addict. Uh, let's see. Usually, what does error iTunes display when TriStar is not functioning? Well, let's get it. Um, are there more paid contributors on the forum? I noticed more people helping out. Yes, in the iPhone section. Um, I volunteered to help out my friend by answering iPhone questions. Okay. So let's see, so you guys really didn't help me. I read through all of that chat and nobody, nobody suggested which, what we should do here. I'm thinking that we should delete the accessory. I wanna delete accessory power. I'm gonna delete accessory power and see what happens. All right, so let's look up and figure out where the accessory power um, ball is. Where are you, iPhone 5S? Nope, nope, nope. Hello. All right, accessory power is D5. Bingo, D5. All right, so let's delete D5. So let's um, let's make sure we get the right D5. So we'll go ask our buddy ZXW just to make sure that we don't mix up the letters and numbers. All right, where is D5? Jessa is being a friend, a friend astute. 
whatever you'll notice that that i'm i'm never gonna i can't change you so i'm giving up trying long ago so i answered them anyway knowing that you will stick to your ridiculous ways because that's who you are that is who you are all right so d what was it i already forgot d d yeah it's pretty funny my best friend is lewis rossman Jessa is one of Lewis's acquaintances. All right, D5. D5. Let's find it. D5. Right in the middle. Smack in the middle. Right there. All right, so we are going to delete the fourth ball in on the uh, second, second one. All right, so let's get busy. All right, so step one, we're going to take off the tri-star that we just placed and get another one, delete the ball, and see what the fuck happens. How about that? All right, so let's go back and get this bitch off. All right, so we will get some flux. Yeah, the pinout on all of these tri-stars is exactly the same. So it is kind of interesting. Like, what is it that they're doing between these different versions? You know, why why do they keep sort of improving or enhancing when the pinout is the same? What is it that they're doing? Oh, one of the other things that I wanted to do, to do, which I think we'll do right now, is I wanted to see whether or not the iPhone 5S can still boot with no TriStar. So the, the common knowledge is that it no longer can because of software. And that's kind of what we've been, been working towards or working with that information. But let's just kind of confirm that. Let's just make sure that we cannot boot the iPhone 5S with no TriStar before we stick one on here with a deleted ball. We're going to bust some balls on TriStar. All right. So TriStar is gone, and let's go ahead and see what happens if we try and boot this sucker right now. Let's find out, shall we? Hmm. Diagnosing over the internet is pretty difficult. If I got up from my chair, the IRC window closed, browser history cleared, temp files deleted every time. Why? <coughs> I mean, that's the thing. Like, why? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just can't imagine not having the sort of fun, relaxed relationship that I, that I have with my kid now. Like, as it is now, I would... I could see myself just sort of, you know, joking about did he need me to pick him up some some uh, Jergens and Bounty and have a little private time in the shower uh, and, to, and I would make sure to knock. Like, just fucking around. Like, not yet. I, that kind of hasn't really happened yet. But, you know, like even the 10-year-old, the you know. So, Sam. Are, is anyone in your grade interested in girls or not really yet? And he's like, eh, not really yet. And I'm like, what is the chance that you're going to tell me if you were interested in girls? And he's like, 0%. And I'm like, that's what I thought, but, you know, it's going to make me cry, you know. And he's like, yeah, well, you know. I mean, it, and then you just kind of smile and laugh, like just kind of have a, a lighthearted relationship. But I, I feel like they they would feel like they can't I don't want them to feel like they can't talk about actual real parts of growing up I did talk about Bailey with the about the X plan already Sunday was a big fan of that that's the thing where you kind of invent this kind of face saving way although it's a little bit kind of weird since it's a little bit viral on the internet where in some kind of social situation, okay, can I go spend the night at Jimmy's? And then things get a little squirrely at Jimmy's and he's just like, I don't want to be here. That that he could text a parent 
or anybody, just the letter X, which means then you would call him up and say, Bailey, there's an emergency and you need to come home right now. All right, so without any TriStar at all, I see an Apple logo and lo and behold, zero, ah, zero, zero charging current. So let's see if it just hangs at the Apple logo or if it can actually boot. So let's give it a second to see what the deal is there. All right. Sometimes they would check and nothing. Well, that's fucking suspicious. There's nothing more suspicious than, huh, this kid has been glued to that chair all fucking day, gets up to take a piss, and he hasn't, his, his uh, history, what have you been doing? Oh, nothing but clearing my, my, clearing my cash, mom and dad. Ain't my browser history looking like Hillary's email server? I mean, you gotta add to that little plan, like, uh, I was reading Wikipedia on sharks. You know, you gotta have a couple of things that you, that you just click through so that you got a little something in that history. <coughs> I turned 16 almost three months ago. Well, Adam, when did you first go to 4chan? And please don't say, oh, just today, since you guys were talking about it. I'm gonna go with this phone is not gonna boot. Why would I want my parents listening in on my personal conversations? Mm, as an adult, you wouldn't, and you have that right as an adult. As a, as a person who has an unformed brain, which you're aware of and accept as a student of physiology, then having a trust uh, you know, and, and respect, more respect than trust, relationship with your parent means that you acknowledge that, um, that, that, they, that their job is to be aware of your life because they are supposed to be your guide. I mean, it would be the, the, the same kind of thing of, of, you know, trying to, you know, like, what if I just decide to fly an airplane? I acknowledge that I'm pretty smart and I can figure shit out, but I've never flown an airplane before, and I don't really have all the skills and education that you need to fly an airplane, so I'm just gonna try it anyway, and I want you to sit next to me in case I get into trouble. That's your job, co-pilot, but I don't want you to look at any of the controls. I don't want you to listen in on the, the radio communication. Just fuck you none of your business. That's, that's, that's silly, and I think that kids are smart enough to recognize that they really they that they need to mature that's just the way things are in the living world is that juveniles have to grow into um maturity and this phone doesn't boot all right so lesson one we have established that yes indeed a phone will not boot 5s will not boot without tristar at all so let's do our <coughs> our experiment with the accessory ball deletion. So let's clean up these pads first. All right, that type of joking causes childhood cancer. I don't think there is any evidence for that whatsoever. I mean, you just have to know your kid. I mean, for most kids, you're right, but I, I mean, I, I don't think that my kids see me as the same way that they see their friends' moms. And there's a, there's a lot of, I mean, like, like, like yesterday, I watched Breaking Bad with my six-year-olds. Watched that Tuco guy get his fucking head blown off. Uh, that's what we did. But I, I just feel like that's sort of, that's inappropriate and, and scary. But with your, when you're kind of, Watch this. Oh my God, I'm going to totally do this. I'm going to turn on the fume extractor because that's what you should do if you're a pro. Mark stuck a big old microscope on it. Oh shit, you can't see anything. All right. Nice, flat pads. All right. Now let's kind of see. Let's clean this 
this up a little bit. Now this time, I'm going to braid because I have a reason to braid. The reason that I want to braid is that I really don't want for D1 or D6 or whatever it is, I really, really, really don't want for that pad to kind of have a little bit of solder on it that makes it touch the, the edge of the deleted ball. I want to keep, the, I want to have an experiment and it depends on D6 not making contact with that pad. Alright, so now we have a reason to braid. Let's grab a new TriStar chip. Turn that fucking lot of shit off. All right, we are gonna grab a TriStar wherever it is. Where is it? At 12? It's happened. Hmm, I don't know about that. You mean 4chan or needing bounty? All right. All right, here we go. A nice, beautiful 610A3B chip, the only one you'll ever need for all 1610 devices. <coughs> all right, so let me look back and see which, um, which one that was, because I already forgot. Having my 5 p.m half cup of coffee. Oh, Paul Daniels, you're sounding like an old man. But honestly, I had coffee at night. The worst would be going with Grady to um, like Bob Evans and he would, he would, whatever he ordered, no matter what time of day, he would drink coffee, which I thought was totally disgusting. Uh, accessory in, so, 3v0 accessory power in D5. We are going to get rid of D5. And D5 is this one right here. Okay. And I didn't take that off microscope. Okay. Goodbye, D5. We barely knew you. All right. So let's just delete D5. Ah. Get over there. And you get over there. And let's go here. All right, D5, get out of here, you. So let's get this lined up. So if A1 is down there, D5 is right there. So let's make sure we get this right. Flipping it over, it is in the fourth row in the second one, which means it's that mofo, which means we gotta drill down and delete him. Stay put. All right, let's get super close. Let's get super close. All right, so it is fourth one down in the second row. Let me dry that off. Right there. I got a donation. Thank you, Jessa. 610A3B info will help me so much. Not much money. Hope it helps. In New Zealand dollars. All right. That's mighty hard to do with all of that coffee. That's hard to delete. That is harder than I thought it was going to be to delete that. So I think I'm going to have to use a teeny speck of something to get that off. 
So let's use a little teeny speck of braid. Teeny, teeny speck of braid. I kind of think it might be a little bit more of a robust experiment to use the green oil and the kind of cure it. That's a big tool. All right, deleted. Deleted. All right. I wish that I could, I wish we could, I don't know, almost like delete another one on the edge so that we could actually see that it's not making contact. But I think that that is pretty good. At least we're going to try it. And if we don't get results that make sense, then we'll have to change the technique. All right. So is that right? Yes. All right, with A1 down like this, did we delete the right ball? A1 down like that, it is fourth, third. All right, we got it. I think so. I think so. Paul Daniels drinks coffee all day long. All right. So now we are ready to install. And he goes like this. All right. Any information they find on you, they will use against you to judge you or to punish you in Lewis's house which is definitely not the same experience that that I had growing up or my kids have. Lewis had Lewis childhood fucking sucked. <coughs> and that's like super sad. But I don't think and I think that that's probably true for a lot of people. But not everybody. Not everybody. All right. Okay, let's get this thing on here and then we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Do you think accessory power is gonna make any bit of difference? Will it still recognize, charge, and connect to USB just the same? And it just can't power a fan? Or is accessory power gonna be required for it to know stuff that it needs to know in order to pass along that charging message or the ability to pass data. All right, so this time I'm gonna anchor it down so that it can't slide. And I take my tweezers away. All right, now let's flow that into place.
All right. Well, let's let that cool down, and then we will test and see what happens. All right. Your parents will never buy you a new car when you turn 17 because they saw you studying genetics. But they will take away internet if you read a scathing criticism of fourth wave feminism. Hmm. Is that why you don't drive? You don't, is that where this is all linked up? You wrote a scathing rant on feminism back at 17 and they decided to not buy you a car because of it. And so therefore you never learned how to drive which equals the ongoing hatred of fourth wave feminism. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. All right. Um, five viewers on Twitch. Yes. Five viewers on Twitch. Uh, let's see. I'm. Oh, she deleted it. <laughs> All right. I was stupid to solder without a fume extractor in the ISLs are gone now. Oh, Lewis, you're making money. You're making bank. Look at you. Fume extractor sounds new. Uh, it's really old and it was free from the good people at Hako. Of course, they sent me a shit one that squeals like a um a stuck pig so prior to a few days ago i had a can of split pea soup that i stuck on top of it so that when i did use the fume extractor which i would turn it on for like really fluxy jobs but it's just too distracting for normal conversation customers everything definitely not for youtube and and not a lot during class um but now uh we doctored it up by taking one of these microscope stands and sticking that on the top of it and that that helps a lot all right um fume extractor noise is from having a regular mic instead of my mutant coat hanger mic that goes next to mouth lower signal to fume extractor ratio also with regular mic speaking of lewis rossman you sent me in your email of all of that shit i had to buy um some eBay auction that like went away. So I, I need help. I need help with that again. Um, I'm developing my getting old persona. If you want to really be old, hurt your back. Then you're like 80 instantly and it fucking sucks. Then you have to like, you have to like, like think about things like, oh shit, I just dropped this on the ground. Oh, and you have to be like, oh, oh, like an old fucking person and it really fucking sucks. I'm finally just kind of getting over that and it sucks. Um, no underfill on the 5S TriStar. There is underfill on the iPad Air, not iPad Air 2. Kind of on the 6, not on the 6S. Um, I don't know, on the 7, uh, what else? The 5S, 5C, no, 5, yes. iPad 4, yes. Um, and I think that's all the lightning devices. Where's the link to your Twitch channel? YouTube chat is AIDS. Um, well, there's moderators. There's like a bunch of moderators. Shouldn't be AIDS. Don't yell hit with bat. With ban, I bet. This would better show up on your screen unless you deleted the scene. What are you talking about? Oh, she deleted it. What, the little, one of your many Pepe's? She deleted it, getting rid of all the Pepe scenes. The Pepe scenes were fucking inappropriate when I was doing the hate crime data recovery. That was totally, totally not cool. So we had to ditch them. All right. Why do DPA Omni mics sound so good, but their cardioid mics sound so bad? Do not know. As embarrassing as the truth is, I was expelled a week ago because I was blamed for smashing a banana on a kid's chair. And my grades were like 68%. Mm. 
Hmm. I get expelled for that, but the kids who are smoking and having private time in class only get suspended for a week. True story. Well, Adam, I so you're 16 years old. I think getting expelled at 16 is is going to close doors for your future that you might not ever want to walk through, but but you might. I think at 16, you really want to try and just keep as many doors open as you can while you're deciding which ones you want to ultimately walk through. So getting expelled from school is not good. And um, I think that, that you kind of, one of, the, one of the things that you learn on the path from 12 to really late 20s and beyond, as you really kind of get to know yourself and you see how people interact and you kind of listen to both sides of many, many different conflicts and you can kind of see what works and what doesn't, that in general, people respond really well to people that are genuine and truthful and humble. And if you, if you were, to, were to approach a school administrator, and I would recommend that you do this, and say something to the tune of, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to talk to you when you have time is there um, I don't want to argue I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get back into school although you really are um, I'd like to just I just like to to be heard about this I don't want to sit here and whine but I, I want you to kind of understand um, what happened and is there a time that we could talk so ideally they would say yes and then you could have a conversation with with someone that is uh, whoever is the person the teacher maybe that or the guidance counselor or whoever is the one adult there that you have had some kind of connection with it you they know you kind of know they kind of like you or they're looking out for you a little bit talk with that person and and try to kind of take responsibility for whatever it is that you've that you've done you don't get expelled for a banana in a chair you get expelled for a long history of fuck-ups a long history of not giving a shit and just not caring and just kind of uh being being the the kind of person again and again and again that the school teachers learn eh, if something bad's going down it's probably that guy's involved maybe not this time but last time and the time before that, et cetera. So um, one of the things that I really liked that, that Grady said, and Grady was full of fucking wise sage advice, um, was to avoid the appearance of evil. Meaning, it, you know, you, you, you don't kind of hang out with kids that are going to be expelled. You don't... Uh, have conversations with people that are going to, you know, that you're going to have to explain later, you know, avoid the appearance of evil. Anyway, my advice for you would be to try to get unexpelled because being expelled closes doors for your future that you might want to walk through. Maybe you don't, but keeping them open is probably your best option for right now. And I would try to get unexpelled by trying to get an in-person interview or at least writing a letter. Have someone that you do trust proofread that letter and specifically ask them in this letter, or, which is kind of your statement of what you intend to say if it's an in-person meeting, does this letter come across as arrogant or blaming someone else? Because my intent is that it comes across as accepting responsibility and that getting expelled kind of made me grow up a notch where I realized that I really don't want to close doors that I might want to walk through. And uh, that's, that's what I would do with that. All right. Lewis says, what do you plan to do with your life? Um, just ordered 100 pieces of 610A3BU2 ICs now. I do so many of these replacements. Must be power spiking problems in my town. Or just people who believe fake cables will actually work. Or you have a really rocking gas station that's getting them and selling them for a dollar. All right. Could a drop of solder mask stick to the chip? I, I don't know. That would be the next thing that I would try if this didn't work. 
Jessa, you can't use your childhood experience. They didn't have rotary phones yet, much less internet. My, so guess what Bailey saw like a week ago when we were going to look at these lake houses? One of them had a rotary phone. It was like, so cool, a rotary phone, oh my God. We totally had rotary phones, which sucked if your friend's phone number had a nine in it. You know, so it would be like, one, two, one, nine. Nine. Oh my God, I'm never calling Mandy again. Fuck that bitch. All right. Ribbon Mike. All right, so Adam says he wants to work in an IT field. Keep those doors open, Adam. All right. Fume extractor. Filters. That's what happens when you do some really nice streams. Waiting for my quick 61. They make extractors? I did not know. Bet it won't charge. All right, let's 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 find out. All right, I think I, I like to get to the end, but I don't know. 7-7 seven, seven plus, no underfill on TriStar chip. <coughs> Michael, stop saying fucking U2. Didn't you watch the beginning? No more U2. Is the iPhone 7 TriStar chip in the U2 position? I'm going to go with hell no. No, it is not. So therefore, it is not a U2. Is there something else in the U2 position? Probably. So let's stop saying U2, everybody. All right. Let's put this thing together. It's cooled down enough to test. Let's test. iPad Rehab. Did the oil ejaculation board ever work? Oil ejaculation. You mean the earwax phone? Yeah, that shit works. That shit works. Oil ejaculation. I don't know. I don't know exactly which one of those that you're talking about. Blood phone works. Earwax phone works. We've had a couple like, you know, gasoline boards and stuff. All right. Um, Pepe is not a hate crime. No one worthwhile has ever cared if I graduated high school. Hmm. That sounds, that sounds tough. I would care if you graduated high school. I think graduating high school is sort of one of those um, life accomplishments that helps you to not really separate yourself from the rest of of the world. I think that you just don't want to close doors. And if you think about it, it it could be it could be difficult when you're interested in a girl and she's in college and maybe she shouldn't be in college, maybe she's some stupid gender studies major, who knows? But you're going to you're going to close a door to a relationship that you might want if you can't say, "Yeah, of course I graduated high school." Um it's it's, you know, I dated a guy that did not graduate high school. And it was, you know, kind of like, why, why not? What's, what's up with that? All right, ready to test. Okay, so without the ACC power, we have zero current draw right now. Interesting. So 3v3, I think it's 3v, yeah, 3v3 accessory power. Ball D5 or D6, I forget. D1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is missing. Zero charging current. Let's see if it can actually boot. Now, it may have corrupted software from us trying to boot it uh, without TriStar before, but that would be really interesting if it can't boot just because of that missing accessory line. All right, so I want to, just in case I forget or have fucked up, let's take a look at the screen. So this is the ball that I deleted. It was D5. Now let's just make sure that that was what I intended to delete, or are we doing a completely different experience? Nope, D5. All right, so I have deleted PP3V0 in the 5S, 3V0. It's 3V3 in iPad mini, but 3v0 accessory power line. And let's see what this thing does. 
So this is going <coughs> to... I would assume transfer through the chip and appear here at PP E75 TriStar Accessory 1. So let's follow that. Paste. Fuck me. Why does it do that? That is crazy. PP. Let's just do TriStar underscore ACC 1. It's expecting 4.3 volts up to, like not more than. And let's go back to the J7 connector. Not U7, J7, DOP connector. So here's this PPE75 to, to try start ACC connector. So we can kind of follow the line and it goes from here and that's where it will show back up heading into TriStar. What happens if we search TriStar? See how hard it is to do all this U2 shit? What the hell is that? What? Fantastic. Not you. Not that one. Not that. Not that. This is ridiculous. See how stupid U2 is? It means nothing. U21! Excellent. Backlight driver! Speaker amp! Yay! Alright, so here's where it goes from the dock connector, plugs in to TriStar here. So that's what we deleted. Alright, so let's see how this phone is doing now. And did it actually get its act together and boot or not? It did boot. All right, so this was able to boot, and right now it does not recognize. It's hard for you guys to see, and there's no way for me to, to turn up the, the brightness. Actually, let me see if I can plug in the ambient light sensor sort of after the fact here. Brighten up, mofo. Can you handle that ambient light sensor that I just plugged in? Does it even work? No? Great. Yeah, it should work. All right. Okay, so this phone does not show the lightning symbol. Now we're gonna unplug and plug it back in and it makes no sign of any of that. So it does not wake up in response to the lightning connector. So it acts as if it has never heard of a lightning connector before. And it continues to pull zero charging volts. Let's see if the computer can detect it. I'm gonna guess no. And it's like TriStar is dead, but interestingly it can actually boot. So when TriStar was off, the phone could not boot. Putting TriStar on, but removing that three volt accessory power to the chip, it can boot now, which is interesting that there's something else about TriStar you know this that that one of these other power lines the 1v8 or the or the 3 vsd ram line must be plugging in some kind of data that's going somewhere so that's kind of interesting all right so it does not detect on the computer and let's flip the cable around and make sure that it's not just the orientation of the cable oh and the camera died all right well that means time for the stream to be over um so let's just kind of I'll just stick this back on here. That makes more sense. All right, so the cable is not responsive in either direction at the computer. And the USB charging is non-responsive in either direction. So the lightning symbol does not come up and the phone does not wake up. 
One thing that I want to just be sure is that I thought it prompted to boot from USB. So let's disconnect the battery and try to prompt to boot from USB. It does prompt to boot. So it's, this camera thing is a fucking bummer. Lewis, come fix my camera. Um, so I prompted to boot by plugging in the USB and it did prompt to boot. I see the Apple, lo Apple logo again. All right. So now to finish this up, because we don't, we don't have a camera, um, <coughs> I'm going to put a regular brand new TriStar back on here because I just want to establish that this phone hasn't somehow become fucked up and that it actually can, um, it can boot, charge and be detected as normal. So I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I want to establish by measuring or checking out before moving on. So we've deleted this power into the chip really is what it seems like now. So accessory, this 3VO accessory is, is just might as well be called 3VO TriStar Power because it doesn't do very much. Even though all of these are presumably intact, it really doesn't do anything else. So our theory that this was used to kind of power a fan or something like that. So the phone booted again and continues to not detect the cable in any orientation and pulls zero charging current. All right, so let's do sort of a last step on this phone and get it a new TriStar and just make sure that it comes back to normal because if it doesn't, then that invalidates our results because you have to kind of have things controlled. And if we have messed something up so that the device has now been compromised in some way, then none of this means jack shit. So let's find out. All right, let's get this. <coughs> let's get this back in here. And then when the camera dies, that means it's time to get the fuck done. All right. So let's Let's see. All right. I'm going to actually inspect the TriStar balls. I mean, I I feel like that was a perfectly fine placement, but let's just check. Let's just check, shall we? And it at least kind of seems like this concept will work. And I'd like to do this again. I'd like for you guys to do this again. Help out. This is a community effort. And together, that looks totally normal to me. Together, we can figure out all sorts of little details about how things actually work. Yep, that's a totally fine placement. All righty. Hmm, that sounds similar to my phone. If you put the back panel on or hit it just too much, would cut the screen to black, but still be doing everything else just fine. Oh yeah, my phone's exactly the same. My phone's my phone's been losing losing back light constantly. Super annoying. I'm going to attribute it on my phone to the fact that it has no screws and constant, constant abuse. All right, so let's get this chip off. And we'll kind of inspect to make sure that we didn't have that that accessory 3VO line ball down. And we got to make sure we didn't like bother Q2, which is this little little guy up there who you know could get bothered by heat and invalidate everything that we've learned. Just throw it right in the shit pile. Another video that is completely misleading and doesn't even tell the truth. All right, let's get this off. And we can see our naked little ball there's our naked ball. You see that, everybody? Naked ball and matching naked ball spot. The other naked balls still have a ball down there, but not this. But not the one that we, the one that we deleted, which was that guy. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get another chip on there and wrap this show up. All right. The trouble with the internet is that 99.9% .9 of what you might learn is false. 
I don't think that's true. 99.9, .9, that's pretty high. All right. There goes the Dyson again. Okay. Let's get this new chip on there. I really hope that it comes back working just fine because if not, that's going to be a major pain in my ass. It, I really, this camera thing is kind of a bummer because I, I kind of would like to just sort of settle this question with trying some others now that we've got this all sort of out tested and working. But it's really not fun without a camera. All right. What flux is that? That's the beautiful ChipQuick 291, which you can find a link to on any of my video descriptions. Any of my video descriptions will take you straight to a source for beautiful, amazing ChipQuick 291, clear as a sunny day unlike the stuff that it comes in the green Amtec tube that makes you wonder, did this possibly come out of someone's dick? That's not what you really want to have on your mind when you are trying to solder a chip. All right. Let's see if this works. Get on there, little Tri-Star. Tri-Star. What do you think Tri-Star means? Tri-Star. There's three power lines. What does the S-T-A-R mean? What could that mean? It would be really funny to kind of have that chance to sit down with the Apple designer and just be like, what the fuck? What does all this mean? Or they would be like, uh, it's Tree Star, you retards, you know, or who knows, who knows what else. Jessa is providing fake news. No, I'm not. Chip quick solder paste is worse. Yeah, that stuff sucks. You don't want to use that. My flex is amazing because it is Produced by me. I think you meant sold by you. Produced by you? Hmm. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, Chip Quick is the worst flux on earth. Hashtag alternative facts. Lewis's flux is nicer if you like how it looks to blow your nose on a motherboard, I guess. All right. Lewis Rossman, I agree. I would love to find an alternative to school. However, a lot of things in my life depend on school. Yes, they do. For example, I'll get kicked out of the house and fired if I drop out. Don't fucking drop out of school. If you there's you there is no chance to go back in time if later in life you decide that you wish you hadn't done something. So if you shut a door, if you burn a bridge, if you close off an avenue, you can't undo that. You can't, you can't go back and, 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 wish you, and, and make that not be true. You can learn the art of getting along with people that you don't like. And that's one of the things I made, you know, I made Sam do OM this year, and he just had a fit because he didn't like some of the kids on the team, and, and I sat down and had this chat with him. If you think about your life, what's the likelihood that you're gonna work on some kind of a team uh, really high <laughs> for most jobs? And what's the likelihood that you're really not gonna like this one douchebag really high? I mean, everybody has someone that they have to interact with that they just don't like. A neighbor moves in that you just can't stand that guy. You can't stand your boss's wife. You can't stand 
that guy that's constantly taking credit for your work you know at, at the job there's there's always people that that really just chap your hide and i think that one of the life lessons that you learn as you get older is is the ability to to get along with anybody to to kind of connect with anybody and the ability to 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 craft the the art of sucking it up i remember my mom was particularly good at this and she um she could just find something to connect with with anybody and i can remember she would she called up uh barbara mazoki i think it was her name at university of maryland college park when jessa got a b a b oh my god jessa got a b in organic chemistry oh my god and that is that was that was really devastating and the reason i got a b was because i didn't get 100 percent all the time in which case it wouldn't have mattered that one day I got kicked out of organic chemistry lab because I was not wearing my goggles. Who knew? Uh, and it had, you know, you have the piece of shit goggles that get all steamy with condensation. You can't see a goddamn thing. So I'd push them up on my head so that I could see and take a reading. And she was, le you know, legitimately pissed with telling students to put their goggles on and she decided to crack down that day. And she saw me with with my goggles pushed up on top of my head trying to read how many milliliters were in a flask and she said you get out of here zero for the day so i had a zero factored into there were only like 10 lab sessions and getting a zero on one made it extremely difficult to finish the course with an a so i had like an 89.5 b and and that sucked because getting a b in college would close doors you can't get a, you can't go to medical school if you have b's you gotta have a's things like that so my mom i was i was pissed and at the time i was too young to realize her side of the story that lady was fucking pissed at the constant stream of students that would do exactly that i could have taken it seriously when she said leave your you know don't take your goggles off god damn it i mean it I could have stepped out and gone and washed them out. I could have started bringing anti-fog. There's a lot of things that I could have done because, but I failed to appreciate her side of it. She was teaching these same students again and again. It was her job to keep everybody safe. Maybe there'd been a recent injury or something that would be on her head. Maybe she got chewed out by the dean over this. Maybe they're gonna lose some sort of certification or some sort of um, accreditation because of this constant infraction. I don't know. But she was serious and she was the authority figure. And she said, do not take your goggles off while you're in this room. And there was a perfectly reasonable rule to have. And I broke it. I totally, totally bold face broke the rule. And I could sit here and be like, can you believe I got a B because of fucking goggles? But that's a pissy entitled way to, to think about things. I was in the wrong. And um, I know that my mom, called up Mrs. Uh, Dr. Mizuki and had had a conversation and and it was clear that Dr. Mizuki was damn sure not gonna I'm gonna put this phone back together uh, damn sure not gonna change anybody's grades that's never gonna happen in a million billion years she was tough and I can remember mom mom calling up and she she was really you know Dr. Mizuki was really pissed and and saying things like, I, I can't believe that your, your you know, 20 year old daughter has to have her mom call the school on her behalf. And, you know, and mom said, just sort of related to her, found a way to connect with her on the virtue of, you know, yeah, mothers and daughters, do you have any kids? Oh my God, you know, it does, it does, it does it get any better. And eventually she just let this woman rant and said, Yep, 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 you're absolutely right. And then Dr. Mizoki kind of got her rant out of her system. And when she didn't get any resistance from mom, she didn't get any, but, 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 can you add, this is ridiculous, she's just goggles, oh my God, you know what this is gonna do? Like, she didn't do any of that. She was just totally, totally humble about it. And just said, you know, I, I doubt you're gonna change the grade, but I, you know, I'd kick myself if I, if I didn't ask and, you know, it's been hard to raise Jessa, that's for sure. And so in the end, stunningly, 
they changed my grade. They, she said, you know what, I, I do think that's unfair to cost someone a letter grade over goggles, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it. So we will just average her the rest of her labs for that one, and that gives her an A, so she changed my grade. And the lesson there, I think, was about the, the art of finding ways to get along with people that you don't like, and that's part of high school. That is part of the whole deal. All right, so we are putting this phone back together. And right now, it does prompt to boot, but it is not pulling charging current. And I really wish that this camera was working, but it is not. Um, so let's see what we can, let's kind of let it boot up and see what we're going to do about that. Now I'm kind of suspicious of the top. So this entire stream, as usual, is at right now completely invalidated because we don't know uh, what accessory detect would do because it's not charging right now and we don't really know why. We don't know if that is a consequence of the fact that we did kind of delete that ball or if something else is up with this one. I'm going to try to charge this camera a little bit. Charge, charge, and the camera's not charging. It's fantastic. Let's turn that off. Come on, camera. Start charging, you piece of shit. All right, camera is also not charging. There it goes. All right, camera's charging. Yay. That's one. All right, let's try and see what's up with this device. So it is not pulling charging current. Let's just stick you guys back on the, on the schematic. All right. All right. Chip quick sucks. You heard it on iPad rehab. That's not exactly what I said. All right, let me try to reconnect this dock connector just to kind of rule out that variable. All right, dock connector looks okay. Let's just get it really on that board. Oh, this is like doing science. It's exactly like this, where you can think about results and interpret shit and then go back and your controls also failed. So everything you did that day is meaningless. Welcome to life science research. All right, so this is not charging, which means step one is put another TriStar on it. Put another TriStar on the fire. So we will burn up yet another TriStar today and see, see what happens. Try startup, maybe. All right. You're leaving your parents anyway. You might as well do it quicker. Uh, do you not enjoy your parents? And if, if not, why not? I mean, your parents are your parents. They are deeply invested in your success. Parents don't want to raise no weed-smoking loser child that smashes bananas on seats and constantly gets in trouble and expelled out of school. I'll tell you that. Your parents are always going to be in your corner. They're always going to want the best for you. They are always going to be on your side, even if it doesn't feel like it, even if they are screaming at you. Parents don't always do a great job. They, parents don't, don't really have a manual to follow to know how to be parents. And teen years are tough. It is really, really difficult to have that, tr that sort of power handoff where when you, were, when you were three years old and your dad said, Hey, Adam, it's time for bed, you went to bed. And when you're 43 years old and your dad says, Hey, Adam, it's time for bed, you say, Fuck you, Dad. And somewhere between 3 and 43, you, you've got to have a, a trade-off where you 
gain your adulthood and freedom. And that is really tough because the parents have to give up control. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how much. They don't know how little. And it's, it's, it's a really difficult time where, where kids in general are probably more capable and trustworthy than the parents recognize. And at the same time, kids are probably a little less ready to be completely in charge of their lives than they, than they think at the time. It's somewhere in the middle. But your best bet is to, is to learn how to get along with people. Learn how to relate. Learn the art of navigating through a conflict in a way that, that doesn't make you hate yourself when you're, when you're at the end of it. It doesn't make you hate the other person. Get along with mom and dad. I think that the, you know, running away and trying to be an adult at a very young age is really setting yourself up to not take advantage of the amazing resource that you only have the time in your life when you're really a teenager, which is your parents that are gonna, that are gonna just be expecting to parent you as opposed to if you're if you're 43 your parents are done they don't expect to have to parent you and if if you fuck up they're going to be annoyed when you're 16 you're supposed to fuck up that's part of being 16. you're not supposed to be perfect you're 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 learning what it's like to be an adult so go make nice with mom and dad go make nice with whoever these teachers are and see, make it a personal challenge to say, can I figure out what do I need to say or do in order for me to kind of heal this situation and correct this conflict? You don't want to drop out of school. You don't want to close doors on your future at 16 years old. And you don't want to flick a TriStar chip clear across the room like I just did. All right. On the other hand, if your mom was like Lewis's, get the fuck out now. Yeah, that was tough. That's a that's a tough dynamic. Everybody's got a little bit of dysfunction, but you can definitely go past norm normal parent child normal teen relationships into like hateful, ugly dysfunction that is not good for anybody. But that is not the case for most. I also think that, like, a lot of this sort of advice to kind of Go off and start your own business. I think that I think that actually running a business is extremely difficult. It's all consuming and it prevents you from having a balanced life. That's true for every small business owner. No one does well at having balance, at least for the first few years of a business. 95% of all small businesses fail. That's a tough thing. It's a tough thing when you're really young to try to have a business and then odds are it will fail, especially if you're super young. Even, even bigger odds that it's going to fail. You've got to carry for the rest of your life a failed, a failed business. and That sucks. And that's a really hard thing on your personality. So odds are that you are more likely to have to work in a team, especially if you're going to be an IT professional. Those guys are, are all about teams. Team, you gotta have a meeting, you gotta work with a team. And a lot of those guys are douchebags because guys that are drawn to IT that are gonna sit there in front of a computer screen all day generally aren't the best. They're, they're not the ones that are, that are <laughs> becoming the cheerleading coach. These are the guys that uh, may want to just sit in front of a computer screen because they don't really re relate well to other folks. 
Working with those guys is hard. <laughs> I, I used to work at a startup company that did software development and there were massive personality conflicts and and it was it's hard. So that just spending this time to work on that general skill of how am I gonna get along with people I can't stand? Gotta do it, man. Part of growing up. Alrighty. All right, I stuck another TriStar on there. Let's see if there's any bit of difference. And then we will declare that this whole stream was a waste of time and get the fuck out of here at, oh my God, it's 4.10 in the morning and I have accomplished zero for this entire shift at work. Invoiced zero. Suck, suck, sucks. So the odds that I can get away with not coming in here tomorrow are low. Suck, suck, sucks. One of those days. Teams suck. Be good enough at what you do that you don't have to interact with other people. That is closing a lot of doors. There are a lot of projects, of enterprises, of things you can build, of things that you could work on. You know, you you know, like you closing off entire professions because you can't, you never figured out how to get along with people. My advice is consider that part of growing up and figure it out. Go hang out with somebody that's really good at it. Watch them, see what they do. My path to being able to generally get along with people has just been by um, being able to tell a funny story. That, that is a big one. All right. I can guarantee you, unless it's an academic thought piece or research, something that scrolled up, research item, commercial code will always require some level of hard coding of something. All right, let's see what this phone can do. Come on, phone. This digitizer connector has been giving me trouble all damn day. Alrighty, we're about to plug this thing in again and see what happens. Too bad you won't be able to see. Here's Adam. iPad Rehab Lewis Ro Rossman. I would love to discuss this further, maybe over Skype or something. You both have excellent points, I feel, and I would love to share my opinion in a better way than YouTube chat. And this phone is pulling zero charging current. And I don't know why. I'm going to guess that it's probably Q5 is fucked up by now. So I think it's Q5. Is it Q5 or Q2? Let's look. I think it probably just had too much heat. So the guy that made, remember this guy? Back on the USB 5v0 USB protected, maybe? This guy? And remember how he goes to... A uh, little transistor. PP. Whoops. Let's find it. PP5V0. Is that right? PP5V0. Underscore USB. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Come on, piece of shit. Where are you? Aren't you supposed to be just at the dock? Find, find me J7 dock again. Here we go. Move that over. All right, we're following this one down at the bottom. 
five USB connector. Q2. All right, so Q2 needs to have a connection here. So if this guy, which is a BGA chip, gets kind of heated up, that can be a problem. So what we're gonna do is lay a wire to connect B1, B2, anybody there except for A1. So B1 to B2. We're gonna put a wire there to open that guy up and see whether or not, um, whether or not that makes a goddamn bit of difference. All right, which still is going to invalidate our fucking experiment, which sucks. So now, after all that, we really don't have any idea what PP3V0 does. Wah, wah, wah. Waste of time. Waste, waste, waste of time. Waste of time. I, re I doubt that, I'm trying to think of, like if there's any theory, maybe you guys can come up with one. Is there any theory where a simple open line on 3V0 accessory would cause any kind of problem? I can't think of anything. You know, like software corruption. Software corruption is not gonna make it pull zero. That is that is total like open line somewhere between the charger. Even like, you know, bad chip, that kind of thing pulls pulls something. It doesn't seem like it's that spongy. That seemed like it was on there. And I'm getting really tired. Really, really tired. Can't see where the dot is on that chip, so I don't know which one of those is A1, so we gotta look up on the on the schematic. All right, time to get sleep. Yes, it is time to get sleep. I'm laying this jumper and then I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm going to sleep. Bus comes early. All right, so we can do B1 and B2, which is close to the end of the board. So we're gonna lay a wire right there on B1 and B2. And then go home. By this time tomorrow, Bailey will have witnessed the greatness of 4chan. Mm, note to self, take away Bailey's computer when I get home. All right. Why would you want to infect Bailey with 4chan? I'm gonna have to warn him of the evils of Lewis Rossman on the internet. All right. Where's this other one? B1, you can touch everybody but A1, not A1. It's the one away from the cap. We might as well stick a wire in that ball too. Why not? There we go. Nice little, nice little jumper. All right, last test is no one can afford me, Ben Wilson. Last test, last test, last test. I really need to get a dock that is known good and not the one that's just in this housing. <coughs> And I really need to get another camera battery or something else or just give up on this camera. All right. Praise Pepe. Yeah, there's no way in hell. Oh, Lewis, I need to send you. I'm going to send you a picture from that, from that uh, place I went today. I took a picture of Bailey in front of a... Um, Trump Trump sign with all this Trump supporter shit. He thought that was hilarious. He also pointed out that he felt that it was inappropriate to have frank broadcast of your political views at a flea market. 
He also wanted to buy a, a thing that looked like a handgun but was a BB gun. I said no. All right, last test. Survey says, with Q, whatever, Q2 jumped, no difference. This phone is still booting, apparently, but it is not recognized, and it is not, <coughs> it is pulling absolutely flat, stone dead zero, um, stone dead zero uh, charging current. Wah, wah, wah. So result here is that the this phone started out with a simple with a straight up TriStar problem, changed TriStar, and the phone charged normally at the beginning. Then we pulled TriStar and we installed one where we intentionally deleted the 3V0 accessory power. Let's look at that screen the 3v0 accessory power line whatever that is let's just search for prot is that going to work there's a lot of pros oops woke my dad up because the volume was a bit high hi adam's dad adam's gonna have a chat with you today I think you're gonna like it. give up on that. USB, USB 5V0. So, USB anything. Now let's just go back to the TriStar page. Good old YouTube. That's not, is that it? Nope, that's PMIC. Nope, 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 nice star page, yay. All right, so we deleted, made, we made open this line, the 3V0 accessory power into TriStar, wondering if that was going to just prevent accessory power or would it make it not recognized or what? Once we did that, the moment we, that we did that, the phone no longer recognized the cable after we initially prompted to boot. So you could prompt it to boot with USB, but it would not pull any charging current and it would not boot on or off. Or it would not do anything if we flipped it around, it was not detected by iTunes, none of that. So that's as if TriStar wasn't working. So that kind of tells us at the time that 3V0 ACC was a TriStar power rail and it um, and it is required for TriStar function in general. So it's just kind of like pulling the plug out of the wall. My, then we then to sort of make sure that we could interpret those results, we went back and said, what if we stick a new TriStar on there? Can we confirm that it goes back to normal, and we could not. And so that kind of calls into question all of this stuff. So, um, why does it get as O oh, when I do that? 3V3, oh, 3V0, underscore ACC. Ben doesn't see that. So somewhere in here, at least on the six, there you can kind of follow this back and there's some logic there's another chip that is responsible for turning vcc main into the 3v0 so my guess is that by deleting the path between this uh 
3v0 if it didn't really have anywhere to go because it was kind of an open on the chip then rather than just sort of sitting there and doing nothing that that must have sent some kind of a signal to that chip and I don't know what would happen after that but at this point this phone pulls zero charging current no matter what you do and it could be something as simple as oh yeah the dock went bad after multiple connect disconnect cycles we don't know or it could be something to do with the pads although I doubt it um, from just installing three or four chips on them, but I doubt it. That doesn't make very much sense to me. We did jump the Q2 uh, dude that separates USB 5v, 5v0 from USB 5v0 protection. That didn't do anything, so that did not bring back charging. And so as it is now, we have a phone that doesn't charge and we cannot interpret our results because of that. So. I will come back to this after I get some sleep and at least figure out what does it take to get this phone to charge again and then hopefully we'll be able to update this in the comments to see what's going on. All right, let me see if there's anything I want to respond to over here. Jess, it's 4.25 a.m. your time. Are you not open Mondays? We're open when we feel like it. Big sign says hit or miss hours, hit or miss. We are open when we feel like it. Waiting for Lewis to stream today as well. That's probably not going to happen. Um, I wonder if the 3V power line is damaged on the board. Yeah, me too. Uh, Lewis needs to get his beauty sleep. So do I. Okay. Praise Pepe. All right. I am going to be done. The camera is charging up, so we can't see anything there. So we will sign off and update this with we, when we kind of get some more data. But I like this overall concept. I want to kind of work together and see what we can all figure out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.